Yes, hello yeah, everybody. I'm Kokezo. So welcome to I'm Kokezo. So and Kokezo so is I. Well, I just finished my trick. I just finished my trick and got to grade 12. So I was like, okay, you know what? I think I had a very successful or slightly successful academic year when it comes to my grade 12. So I just thought, okay, you know what? Let me film a video where I give people tips because I've been asked quite often. So now I'm putting it out there. I'm going to give tips on how to have a very successful academic year. So, yeah, I guess let's get on to the video. So the first tip that I'm going to give you, right? So we need to start from the, from the bottom up, from the top down. We need to start there. We need to start there and go to the other side. So the first tip that I'm going to give is to fix yourself to 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 fix your life together right you need to fix your life together because you cannot be expecting to be achieving good marks you cannot in any aspect of life you cannot ex uh, 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 expect yourself to be succeeding if you do not build good habits which is where this is going you need to build yourself good habits you need to be in the habit of waking up uh number four because as i said in a previous video so when it is exam time and it's very cold and you want to study Blankets will be calling you. Gabanda. But now you need the discipline to be able to wake up and continue doing whatever you want to do. So that is where building habits is. Because I think they say it takes 60, 61, you know, it takes 61 or 60 days to build a habit. So do that. If you need to do that 60 times, do it six times a thousand times, you have to do it. This all goes down to repetition. And when it comes to anything, like we know, it's repetition that makes you better because you cannot wake up today. You go uh let me take my football for example i cannot go out practice one free kick score that free kick and be like ha, i'm the best free kick taker in the world nah it just can't be it just can't be so that's where building good habits starts so you need to be in the habit of doing things that that are painful you know like let me think of one habit for example you need to get yourself into the habit of doing your homeworks you know doing homework sounds very childish but at the end of the day, it has to be done. You know, some people actually, they survive through doing their homeworks. Because in class, they teach you something. When you go home, you test yourself using that homework. And then you can use your past papers and all those uh, fancy stuff to make sure that you know whatever you're doing. But it all goes down to that doing that simple homework. So, please, get yourself into doing those habits. Now, another point that falls into the first point is fixing your sleep schedule. You know, it is very ideal for you to sleep, um, maybe you can sleep at 9, you can sleep at 10. If you wake up at like 4, 5, I don't know how many hours those are, but it's much more convenient because when it comes to the examinations, for matriculants now, when it gets to your prelims, it goes to your final exams, I don't care who you are, I don't care who you are, but you're lying. There's no way that you're going to get absolutely everything done and then you're going to sleep 9 hours. You'll have to sacrifice something, like you will have... To sacrifice something so for now why you still have the time and the choice please sleep sleep fix up your sleep schedule was it's okay i wake up at this time i sleep at this time they don't get your body used to everything you know what's in here one day one or four and then tomorrow you wake up at eight and you expect it starts out of one or five oh. I get it. So, the second tip that i have for you is that you need to start early so without Whatever it is that you're going to do, you need to start early. Uh, let us say, for example, in fact, everything that I'm going to be saying in this video, you cannot say, okay, sure, I've watched the video on January, but I can start these habits actually approaching my exams. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You need to start early. Whatever it is that you're doing, you need to start early, which is where it comes to that building your habits, uh, building routines and stuff, because you can't expect OT all of a sudden when, uh, when the final exams get here, when the prelims get here term three exams for specific people when they get here then that's where you'll be i don't know studying eight hours if anyone does that please start early build your habits build a routine and survive with it thank you The next tip is to be organized. 
it's written past examination question papers and memorandum so basically i compiled this uh during the holidays leading up to grade 12 and i was like literally fixing up stuff for my matric year so that i can have my stuff in general so that's being organized it just took a flip file in the 20 pages and i did a little mini what what so that's where being organized comes in you need to always be organized you need to have your things in order i had a box of uh past papers i used to collect past papers sometimes i would like download them from certain applications you just need to always make sure that you have all your stuff organized because if you're everywhere your marks will show that you're everywhere now with being organized it also comes to my next okay it's a tip that is part of the, the point that i'm making you need to make sure that you prioritize your subject quite wisely so i did eight subjects and I knew that I was having struggles with geography and Afrikaans. So what I'll do is I'll dedicate more hours to geography and then Afrikaans to try and make sure that I improve. And I believe that as the years, um, the terms rather, went by, I would see, okay, sure, there's a bit of improvement, you know. So don't be that guy who is a specialist. Like, don't be, don't be like, yeah, I mean, I kill maths, but I don't kill life science. I kill physical sciences, but I don't kill Afrikaans. Like, you just... You just need to make like make sure that you're not a specialist, you're organized, and you focus, I wouldn't say more, but you give more time to the subjects which you are weak in to make sure that there's a balance, if you get what I'm saying. I'm sure you do get what I'm saying. Now tip number four of these tips is that you need to like get yourself resources, you know, you need to compile resources to make sure that you know, you know. And as I said in my previous uh, study tools video, which I posted before my final exams, when I said that if you struggle with mathematics, you don't only have Mind the Gap, you have Answer Series, you have Platinum, you have Focus, Kevin Smith, what else? They're, like there's just two, Viva Mathematics, come on, I mean, there are all these books out there, so you need to get your resources in order. Now is the time where you should be compiling your stuff, so that's something that I did early in the year before my term one even commenced uh i had past papers i had textbooks and stuff from different uh, provinces from different years to make sure that by the time my exams come i don't need to be compiling stuff i have everything with me all i need to do is to execute whatever the plan i had in mind so that's where it's where these come in this is where these come so these are the 2020 geography past papers it's the annexure the addendum and the question paper right it's the annexure and the question paper so that is practically what i did i have many more past papers but i just brought out two to 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 show you to say okay so i made sure that i always have my resources in place which by the time that the exams arrive i was just doing past papers left right and center like i was just i was just executing right so like this is the time that you should be going to a teacher yo ma'am where can i find this where can i find this but don't worry if your man won't help you i'm here i mean come on relax you know you can trust me and now for tip number five now the fifth tip of these study tips rather is that you need to make contacts and link up with friends so basically at this stage of the year what i did was with making contacts i would like collect for example, I took uh, people's numbers who I knew, okay, sure, this guy did good in his uh, matric year, so I want to be like him, I want to do whatever he did, I want to emulate this, 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 that. And then I can ask them how they did this, how they did this. So now that's where the make contact comes in, right? You need inspiration. And with making the friends also, it is if you see, okay, sure, you know, I'm an average student. There's this boy, there's this girl who is an A student and he or she has this attitude about like they are not willing to hide in, is it hide in to filter the knowledge that they have, you know, like they're willing to share it with people. Go befriend that person. We can say you're using the person, but God can see that you're not. So it's for a good cause, you know. So and again, you need to make sure that you're with the right people. Like you need to make sure that you're with the right people. The one best thing that I can tell you is that you need to associate yourself with people. That fit your future, not your past. Nice. You just shouldn't. You, you you should make sure to keep that in mind. So, yeah, that's what I have. 
And now for the sixth tip, uh, tip number six. You need to know yourself. You need to know yourself. But like, we are, we are all not the same. Are twenty. So, so, you need to know what time of the day you you mostly focus. You need to know what type of a learner you are. Like some people are reading and writing learners. Some people are visual learners. Some people are. I don't know what they call the touching thing. Kali, Kali. Kinetic. Yes. Some people are kinetic learners. So what I found about myself is I am someone who is more of a... What is this thing? Uwekuluma. Speaking. Yeah. Like I would shout out my notes. I just walk around and then I do something called uh, space repetition. So I just be walking and then I just... I just do active recording. I ask myself questions. I speak. I speak in an exam. I remember that time when I was walking around in the house, asking myself questions. Okay, so what is this? What is this? And I'll say them out loud. At night, number twelve, people are sleeping. I'm there, reciting life science things. They the fucking did this, the penis. The thing. <laughs> but then, there's like there's really nothing to worry about because they knew it's okay. Okay, so Rakan is dying. So that's where the, 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 the know yourself thing comes in because I realized that I could focus more when I know the internal yeah. Like during during the day, I just couldn't because I knew they're all studying. So what I would do is I would study maybe let's say I go to school in school around six. At two o'clock in the is it the morning? M I'd be awake studying, doing whatever, writing a past paper. When I get to school, I feel like uh, and uh, you know, like I feel like hey, I've done something that, the, that these people haven't done, and it felt really good. Like it was like, you know, and when you choose when you want to study, studying doesn't become a job, it doesn't become a mission. Like you just try to enjoy it, you end up enjoying it. So yeah, that's why you need to know yourself. Now this takes me to the seventh tip of this video. The seventh tip is that you need to set goals and have dreams. There is no going anywhere without a destination. Like, you need to know, okay, sure. I'm working to be, I don't know, what can you be? I'm working to be a lawyer. I'm working to be an engineer. I'm working to be, because if you're just saying, I need a phone, I'm going to make it. So you need to have goals. You need to have dreams. You need to set yourself dreams. I want to see myself doing this. I want to see myself this, 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 this. But of course, you cannot reach those dreams without setting short-term goals and long-term goals. And now, this is where being realistic comes in. You can't be getting 5% every test. You don't attend classes. And then you're like, Oh, you know, you put up 93% next week. Are you lying? Like, you just... Like, you just... You need to be realistic. Set realistic goals. Because if you set a goal that is not realistic enough, when you do not achieve that goal, you pay no more, yeah? You quit. So you need to plan your stuff because if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. You just need to make sure that you get your things in order. Get yourself mentally prepared. Set your goals, set your dreams. I had goals and dreams set out. I had my wall full of stuff. I had like, I wrote what mark I wanna get for which subject in term one, my average, my this, my this. And from term one to term four, I kept increasing that, you know, I kept increasing it. And one thing that you need to know is that when things are not working out, you shouldn't decrease the goal, but you'd rather work on the strategy, you know? So yeah, just set dreams, put goals in place, and are you really? Now the eighth tip, tip number eight, is that you should never settle with not knowing. If you don't know a particular topic, if you don't understand a particular topic, I'll take for example, Physical sciences, those who are doing physics, you must be working on a topic like momentum. Great talk physics now is what I'm talking about. You must be working on like maybe momentum, vertical projectile motion, organic molecules. You have YouTube. We have channels like Mulungi Singosi, Kevin, Medicine Science. Like those are the channels that I depended on. You have channels like Mindset. Like those channels will really set you up. Like for the whole year, you know, okay, sure, I don't know this, I don't understand this. You go home, you use that. And for those who have Wi-Fi, for those who have mobile phones, like, you are very privileged. Like, you are very privileged. You know, as the years go by, people, like, failing metric is a choice. Like, I'm not going to lie, you know. 
even in class, even in class, this tip of never settling with not knowing, it also cuts across with being in class. When you don't understand a particular thing, the teacher says something you don't understand. Raise up your hand, like raise up your hand, ask questions. And one thing that I realized, and one thing I can promise you about raising up your hand and asking questions in class, is that once you raise that hand up, it's like the whole world stops for you because now when the teacher points at you, bah, everyone keeps quiet. You will not forget that answer that the teacher gave you. Because like, it's a delay on though. You just won't forget it. So yeah. So that is it for the tips that I had for you. That's it for the tips. So I'm not saying that these tips will work for you, but I'm saying that they work for me. But I have reason to believe that they should work for you if you execute them and implement them quite correctly. So yeah, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching this far and thank you for your support. Uh, I haven't been the most consistent person out there, but I tried, you know, I posted on a community post uh, a few weeks or days ago, saying what happened to a video that I posted that couldn't be uploaded because we lost the footage, unfortunately. But you're a man, we just need to keep going and moving. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and when you comment please you can comment now thanking me or you can thank me by subscribing pushing that subscribe button and then comment later in the year or whenever telling me how these tips aged in for you so yeah so tips uh, are working out for you when things are going well for you be calm be calm relax and keep going always remember like just don't be irritated don't be cocky you should always remember that if you're the smartest in the room then you're in the wrong room nice but yeah thank you for watching this video yet again i'll see you in yet another video peace Woo!